Hey guys, this is part 13 of the Java game programming tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do in this one is just pretty much just finish up a couple of things. Um, this series is coming to an end soon, so the game is pretty much almost done. Um, what I want to do is create some new waves. So let's do that. Here I'm just going to change wave numbers. One, five enemies. Three. Three is going to be. Hmm. Actually, let's make this four. This is going to be eight. And get rid of that for now. Wave three is going to be. Um, we'll just do this, four of these, and two of these, oops, uh, I'm going to make a, a eight waves or something, and that's just, that's going to be the game, eight waves, or four is next. Um, Let's add some extra enemies in here. Ooh, let's add some new ones. Four of the type 2 enemies. And five. Um, let's see. I'm just going to have this one, one, two, three. Three, four. Uh, I guess that's fine. Six. Um, what do we have for six? Let's do one, three, and then um, we're gonna make some new enemies here. Bring in the green ones. Seven. This should be quite hard, quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Let's do two, three, one, two, three of these, and we'll just make this the final wave. And this one's gonna be hard, of course. This is type four of all four enemy types. That should be it for the game. Um, another thing that I want to do is with the text, it just looks awkward that a uh, piece of text is just popping up. So I'm going to do something else with the draw here. Um, here, set font, set color. Uh, I'm not going to set to this color, so. Here, I need an alpha. Uh, I'm going to use sign to uh, try to get this thing on. Let's see, 255 times math.sign of pi. And what I really want is um, the amount of time that's left. So. I need the elapsed. So this is going to be elapsed divided by time. Um, yeah, and just to check if alpha is greater than 255, just cap it at 255. And here I'm going to set the color. Color, I mean, color white at the alpha transparency. And yeah, cool. Oh, right, another thing I need to get the length is g. get font metrics. I just want to center the drawing of the strings, get string bounds sg, get width, um. And then g dot draw string. This is going to be at x minus 
minus length divided by 2. Y is just going to be Y. Let's see what that looks like. Uh oh. Oh, I typed in B, not G. That's weird. Oh, what am I doing? Cannot find simple G. It's right there. Get font metric with an S. Get font metrics. Okay. Compile and run. Slow down. Slow down, slow down. Cool. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Slow down. Um, go back up here into uh, chance for power ups. Check dead enemies, chance for power up. Get rid of this. This is pretty much the game right now. Um, I want to stop the game somewhere, so I'll create new enemies. I guess I I can stop it here. If wave number is nine, then of course we had that running boolean at the top. I'll just set running to false. That means back up here in our game loop, we're no longer running, so it's gonna exit the loop. And down here, past the loop, we're going to do something, um, just game over, I guess. G dot set color, um, set the color to, what was the color? Let me just find out really quick. The background color, 0, 100, 255. So set the color to 0, 100, 255. Um, Fill rectangle zero zero width height and um, set color to white. Set the font to century century gothic font. Dot plane size sixteen and just draw string. Game over. Bring um, S is equal to game over. Uh, this isn't really the way to make a game over screen. What you want to do is um, use game states. <coughs> but, I um, mean, this is just a very, very simple game over screen. So, I want the length. I'm just going to get that here. Length of the string, int length, you go this, uh, uh, get width. Yep. So I'm going to draw string S, and I'm going to do um, the game, uh, the width, divided by 2, minus, so width minus length divided by 2. That in parentheses. And height divided by 2. That should be game over. Oh, we also want game over if the player is dead. So we have to check that. Check dead enemies. Right after that, let's do check dead player. So if player dot is dead. Oops. Then running is false. Um, I hope I have player dot is dead in player dot java. Uh, I don't. Okay, so public int or boolean is dead. Return dead. Do I even have a dead boolean? No. That's terrible. Um, return lives equals zero or less than equals zero. That's pretty much it. Let's see if we actually get into the game over. I'm gonna I'm just gonna get hit three times. One two three. Okay, so the game kind of froze. Hmm. And 
it didn't really draw anything right because I'm using G, so uh, I'm actually just going to call it game render at the end of this. Let's see the game over screen. And it still doesn't work. What? Not game render. What am I doing? It's game draw. Oh, I'm not thinking. Oops. Let's compile and run game draw. And game over. Cool. So yeah, actually, I wanna I wanna make one more string. Um, total score or final score plus player dot get score. And I wanna get the length again, and I wanna draw a string again. Height divided by 2, but this one was plus 30 or something. So, compile and run. Let me just kill something so I can get some score. Final score 2. Very cool. So yeah, that's the game right there. Um, in the next video, I mean, the next video is the last video, I'm just gonna do one playthrough of the game. So, yeah, if you wanna watch me playing the actual game, that's gonna be in the next one. So, thanks for watching this series. Hopefully you know enough to start your own games. Um, and I'll see you whenever.